In the previous video of this tutorial, we have created simple logic for our car, so when we place a road on our map, place a house, place a special structure and spawn a car, a car will be spawned, but it will travel through the center of our road prefabs instead of sticking to a single lane. So now we would like to fix this behavior. So let's stop the game. In the theory section for this tutorial, I was talking about adding some car markers to our road prefabs. So we can go to our assets in the project section to prefabs, find the road folder and select one of those. Maybe let's start with our street dead end. So let's double tap on it and it should open up a separate environment where we can edit our prefab. Now, if you have not enabled it, enable the gizmos in your scene view and you will be able to see those colorful diamonds, uh, diamond shapes and those are markers that our pedestrian system uses to direct our pedestrians to walk using the pavement. Let me elaborate on this system. Great. Now this is an example of a road that we could have. And at the bottom of it, we can see that our, the, here is our first prefab, which is a dead end road. And then we have some kind of straight prefab, a couple of them in fact, at the end, we have a corner and another dead end prefab. So this is uh, how we have split our road. And now what we would like to do is instead of traveling through the center of the uh, of each prefab that our car is currently using as the navigation point, uh, instead we are going to add points of interest that I will call car markers in the center of each lane. So starting from the dead end, I'm going to place two markers, one on the right hand side uh, of the road, so on the right lane, and one on the, uh, let me choose another color, and one on the left lane. And if we consider this setup, for our dead end street, matter is pretty simple, because the red point is always outgoing, so cars that want to go from this a dead end they have this as a starting point they will use the red marker as the marker to spawn our car if this is the last point on our path they will use the green marker as the end point so the green marker is the incoming end point uh, and the red marker is the outgoing car marker and this is pretty simple now for this straight road it will not be as simple as this because again we can place two markers here and despite their color, it will all depend on what is the rotation of our straight road. So for the basic rotation, the one marker will go to the right and one marker go, will go to the left. But if we rotate our prefab by 90 degrees, then it will shift. It will, if we rotate to the right, then our uh, marker on the right will go up and marker uh, on the left will go down or rather the lower marker will go down and the marker that is higher will go up. And again, this is zero degrees, this is 90 degrees. Uh, for the uh, 180 degrees, we will have the same situation, but now those markers will be uh, rotated. So again, this will be the different marker. So let me point it out. So this is the marker that is lower, and this is the same. And now the same marker with the rotation of 180 degrees will be the marker that is uh, higher and the green one will be lower. So this will be more complex to select one of those markers, but we'll get to the uh, how we are going to do this. But the basic idea is that we are going to create all those markers on each, uh, each straight prefab. Let's create the red uh, markers on the, on the other end. Okay, on the other lane. And the idea is that we want to have an algorithm that will connect those markers. Let me select another color, maybe this one. And we are going to connect those markers uh, by simply selecting those two road prefabs and asking the, about the distance. So we are going to select this marker and we are going to ask which of the marker on the next road prefab is the closest to you and find this one out and connect it. For this one, we are going to ask the same question and we are going to connect it to the marker that is uh, the closest uh, in terms of the distance between those two points. And this is how we are going to connect those markers to achieve our uh, graph. So we are going to use this graph uh, to 
create a path for our cars. So thanks to this, we will know that if we are here, we can only uh, travel towards the next point, which is the, uh, on the next road prefab, and so on and so forth until we reach the last position. Now, for the corner, we are going to have a bit of a different situation because now we will need to have a couple of those markers to ma make our car more smoothly move through this curve street, curve road. So let's create the same markers on the other lane, but here we will need to have a bit more markers because this is a longer path. So the idea is inside this prefab we are going to pre-connect those points together and we are going to only leave the last ones, so the uh, ones on the edge, as opened for connections so that when we are going from this straight road prefab towards the corner we are going to simply ask only uh, which one of those four markers is closest to you and connected uh, to yourself and the second one again which of those four markers on the curve is closest to you and connect uh, it to yourself and for the dead end it will be the same as previously we have the green marker on one lane and the red marker on uh, another lane okay let me change the color and we are going to simply ask again for those connections between the points on the edge now here we are going to need to discard the connections because we are going to ask for each uh, uh, car marker that is open for connections to find the connection bef between those two markers on the next road prefab so we are going to create those two connections but also we are going to have those two connections and we are going to have a way to discard those connections and now we can see that we have created those two paths that our car can take now as i have mentioned beforehand if we have something like a three-way so the intersection we will have a more complex graph that's why we will need to run an a star algorithm to find a path from the start point to the end point if this is a more complex graph when uh, those two graphs are connected in some way we will run the a star algorithm to find the path with the lowest number of points on its path and uh, the car will choose this path to travel towards the destination now if you are more familiar with graph structures you might be wondering what type of graph are we going to use so we are going to use an undirected graph Simply because I have already implemented this graph in the previous uh, tutorial about pedestrian AI. But for better results, you should use a directed graph. Which will allow you to specify that the direction goes from the point here to here. And the car cannot really travel other way around using this concrete edge of our graph. I will post a link in the description to a tutorial uh, on YouTube about the graphs if you are, are wondering how they work. Anyways, we are going to start implementing those car markers in the next video. See you there!